This may seem like a lot of entities, but to make it easy, all are controlled with a single logic relay. Let's open that up. As you can see, the name of which is Howl LR. And let's go in order. On trigger, while destroy EE is set to explode. This is the explosion, and it causes the damage. Wall destroy E shoots, set to shoot. These are the concrete gibbs which shoot. And the wall destroy E smock is turned on, that's the smoke. On trigger, wall destroy IPS is set to start. This is the explosion particle system. On trigger, wall destroy ambient generic play sound. This is the uh, sound of the explosion. The wall destroy function button, I mean the function brush one is set to disable, while the second one is set to to enable. So that makes the hole in the wall. On trigger, fire ambient generic one play sound. This is the sound of the fire burning that's created by the particle system. Wall destroy IPS2 start. This is the fire particle system. More logic relay trigger after 30 seconds. This is the mortar logic relay, which we'll go over in a second. And then the fire AG1 stop sound. This is to stop the fire burning sound after 32 seconds and the fire burning out. Now, after 30 seconds, the gate is finally destroyed by the general. Like before, this contains a number of effects to create a blast-like effect. However, this also includes some important entities that help with the gameplay. Like before, all of these are controlled by another logic relay for easeability. Let's start off with the various effects. So here's the prop dynamic, which is the, the barbed wire spool. It's set to a prop dynamic so it can be deleted. The name of which is more PD1 and the shadows are disabled. As you can see, there are two of them for each side of the fence. Let me zoom in here so you can actually select the fence right here. As you can see, it's a prop physics override. Its name is more PO. And the world model is the exterior fence model because that doesn't come with a prop. So we have to make an override. You can see it's start asleep, it's motion disabled, and prevent motion enable on player bump. This is so it stays in place until we want it to explode. Okay, let's check out some of the other ones. There's two overlapping brushes here. Select the one that's just a little bit bigger. The function nav blocker, this stops the navigation mesh. It's more FNB, start disabled no, teams to block everyone. Go a little bit more into detail about this in a minute. Now we have a trigger hurt, the name of which is more TH. Start disabled is set to yes. Damage is set to five, the damage cap is 20. Damage type is burn. Damage model is doubling with forgiveness, and it has zero damage force. This is the trigger hurt, which simulates the fire effect, so if some of the infected do run through the fire, they'll catch on fire. Clients, NPCs, and everything. Okay, let's delete some of these so it's a little bit easier to see. Function brush, the name of which is more FB1. This is the 
escape before it explodes. Its solidity is set to toggle. And start disabled is no. Okay, this is what it looks like after it explodes. It's also a function brush, name of which is more FB2. Start disabled is set to yes. Its solidity is set to toggle again. And again, another function brush. This one again is more FB1. This is the hole that is created by the mortar round. Start disabled is no. And solidarity is toggle. Now let's delete that so now you can see the crater. The environment player blocker, this is to block the player so they can't run through the fire, the name of which is more EPB. The mins and maxes, which are how big the blocking area is, as you can see it here. Its initial state is enabled and it blocks the survivor team. And we'll go a little bit more into this in a little bit. Next we have a info particle system, which are the fire entities. It's named as more IPS. Particle system name is barricade fire. Start active and no. These are the flames that are created by the mortar round. Here's the second one. And here's the third one and the fourth one. And here is more IPS2. The particle system name is gas explosion pump and start active no. This is the explosion that is created by the mortar round. Not the damage, but the sprite. NV shooter, more E shoot. The give direction is straight up. Give velocity is 800. Give life is 4. These are the concrete chunks which shoot up. And let's, uh, check out the model so you can see it's the same exact concrete chunk the material sound is concrete and it simulates physics now we have the environment explosion more EE. This will generate the explosion damage. Its magnitude is a lot. Radius override of 512. The fireball sprite, again, and the render mode aren't important. So its flags are no fireball, no smoke, no decal, no sparks, no sound, no fireball smoke, and no particles. Ambient generic, set to name of uh, more AG2. Sound name is Explode 3. This is the sound the mortar round makes when it hits. The flags are play everywhere, start silent, and is not looped. The second ambient generic, which is Fire AG2. The sound name is Fire Medium. This is the sound the fire makes when it burns. The flags are just start silent. Play everywhere and is not looped are not selected. Now we have the environment smoke stack. This is the smoke the round makes, the name of which is more ESMOC. Here are some of the aspects of it. The length is 512. The wind angle again is 180 and the wind speed again is at 10. You can see here is the base color. This is a function orator.
the name of which is Barricade Orator. And the world model is Garbage Soda Can 01A Crushed. This is so the survivors can respond when the barricade is burned down. Now let's check out that logic relay which controls all of this. Name is More LR. On trigger, More AG1 play sound. This is the sound of the mortar round hitting. More flash ES. This is the sound of the sprite flashing in the skybox. As you can see, it uh, disables after a very short time. More EE. Explode is set to 5 seconds. This is the sound of the mortar round hitting the fence. On trigger, more FB1 disable at 5 seconds. This disables the old fence. More FB2 enable at 5 seconds again. This enables the fence with the hole in it. More PO is set to enable motion also at 5 seconds. These are the chain link fence areas falling forward from the explosion. More PD1 is set to kill at 5 seconds. These are the razor wire and it kills once the mortar hits. More IPS starts. This is the explosion uh, particle system. More ESMOC is set to turn on at 5 seconds. This starts the smoke from the mortar round. Fire AG2 is set to play sound at 5 seconds. This is the sound of the burning. More trigger hurts is enabled at 5 seconds. This is the trigger hurt, so if any infected run through, they'll catch on fire. More IPS2 is set to start at 5 seconds. This is the fire particle system. More ambient generic 2 play sound at 5 seconds. This is the sound of the mortar round actually hitting the ground. More E shoots is set to shoot at a little over 5 seconds. These are the concrete chunks shooting up after the mortar round hits. Fire AG2 is set to stop sound at 45 seconds. This is stopping the fire sound because the fire burns out at this time. More trigger hurt is set to disable at 45 seconds. This is again because the fire burns out. More EPB is set to disable at 45 seconds. This makes it so the players can go through. More FNB is also disabled at 45 seconds. This makes it so the nav mesh will allow bots to run through. And then the barricade orator. It's set to speak response concept. Airport 03 fire path clear at 45 seconds. This way the survivors will exclaim that the fire has burned down the barricade. So now that we have that already done, let's run through all of it in order. At first, the players hit the trigger and the general tells them that they need to fire the cannon. Next, the players use the howitzer by pressing the button. This triggers a logic relay which fires the cannon. This includes the animations for both the firing handle and the howitzer itself. It creates the fire effect, shake effect, and triggers the logic relay that simulates the explosion. That logic relay starts the explosion simulation. This includes the wall toggling to a broken version, the explosion itself, the fire that is created by the explosion, the smoke, the uh, debris, and the smoke, and the sound of the explosion and fire. Then finally, the final logic relay starts by simulating the explosion like the previous logic relay. 
It also enables the movement of the fence props so that they can fall to the ground realistically. After 45 seconds of burning, the logic relay disables both the nav blocker and player blocker. After all that's done, the players can finally run to the safe room.